Hi everyone, my name is Merdad and in this short video I'm uh, talking about earn value performance measurement for different projects. Uh, calculation of cost and schedule variances using Microsoft Excel is uh, very easy and handy for this purpose. And uh, I'm using a very simple project to demonstrate this. As you can see in this uh, small project, we have uh, 11 activities uh, starting with uh, clear and uh, set up construction site and then we have drive uh, support piles, uh, pour main con uh, concrete or concourse and uh, the final activity is uh, inspection for quality. As you can see, the project starts in January and ends in December. So 12 months is the plan for uh, running this project. And we have monthly budget for each activity. For example, for the first one, we uh, have a budget of $4,000 in January and $4,000 in February. So uh, the same uh, information is given for other activities and you can easily uh, build this uh, model in Microsoft Excel okay uh, first thing first we should concentrate on our uh, plan and as you can see I have created a column for this one in here we want to have the uh, sum of budget for each activity so our plan for the first activity is equal to sum and I select this function uh, the budget for the first activity and then press enter as you can see it is eight thousand dollars because we have a budget of four thousand in January and four thousand in February I can replicate this by dragging the corner of this square and now we have the plan uh, the plan value for each activity the next step is to calculate the earn value for each activity and our target as you can see uh, for earn value and plan value is end of May so we are considering the first five months of uh, this project as you can see at end of May uh, activity 1 is 100% complete and we have a progress rate for other activities at the end of May as well. As we all know earn value is the product of progress rate and uh, whole budget or plan value for each activity. So earn value is equal to uh, progress rate times uh, whole budget for activity and then we press enter uh, we should consider a percent in here so I divide this one by 100 I can uh, replicate these values until end of May and total earn value is equal to sum of these values as you see uh, the earn value for the project until end of May is $44,000 and I can copy this value in here so Project air value end of May is equal to 44,000. Another uh, piece of information we have is about uh, monthly uh, plan. As you can see, in uh, January we only spent $4,000. And in February, it is equal to sum of uh, all budget, uh, 10,000. And then we can 
drag this corner of the cell to have the values until end of December. The next step is to calculate the cumulative uh, plan. So for the first month, uh, we have only spent $4,000 in January. The second month, uh, February, we have spent $10,000 plus $4,000 spent in uh, the previous months. And then we can replicate these values. As you can see, the cumulative plan until end of uh, May is $46,000. Uh, so I can copy this cell in here. So the project plan value end of May is equal to 46000 We have uh, also actual cost for this project. So uh, we have obtained this information from the accounting department. And the, this is the actual spending we have had in uh, January to May. So the cumulative actual can be calculated for January. It is $4,000 for February, the cumulative actual cost is equal to spending in February plus previous months, and then we can uh, replicate these values. As you can see, the project actual cost at end of May is 53,000, so I can copy the value to this cell. Now we have enough information to uh, calculate uh, different uh, uh, performance metrics for this project. For example, cost variance is the difference between earned value and uh, actual cost. Schedule variance is the difference between earned value and uh, plan value which is 46,000 as you can see these two uh, show some negative variances and a negative uh, cost variance shows that uh, we have had all of our spending in our project so far and schedule variance sh a negative schedule variance shows that we are behind our plans CPI which is cost performance index is uh, the ratio of earned value and uh, actual cost which is 83 percent and schedule performance index is uh, the ratio of earned value and uh, planned value which is 96 percent we have uh, two more uh, calculations to make estimated cost at completion is equal to our uh, planned budget uh, $100,000 divided by CPI 83% it is equal to uh, $120,455 and as you can see it shows some inflation in the cost of project and also estimated project duration is equal to 12 months or initial plan divided by SPI and uh, we now have uh, half a month increase in uh, the duration of the project so as you can see calculation of uh, performance uh, measure indices using Microsoft Excel is very easy and it uh, provides us uh, a very objective way to report the status of the project so past performance of the project is always an indicator of the future and that's uh, what earned value performance measurement uh, uses thank you please uh, subscribe to my video uh, youtube video channel for more uh, instructional videos